Okay, um, got a quick plugin today uh, called Loom. Um, it's a freebie, it's out on GitHub. Uh, so you just look up right here, bl Blender Loom. Got a bunch of great features, um, but the one I wanna talk about today is file path variables, um, which in Blender, or sorry, in Cinema 4D are known as tokens, you know? So what, what they allow you to do is use a bunch of variables um, like sort of almost like system style variables that you can submit or sorry uh, replace text with when you go to render and, and you'll see what I mean here so a few of, they have a bunch of them right you can you can actually talk you know what's what's the name of your collection and, and all this kind of stuff right um, but one of the cool ones is uh, day date you, know, you can do date and time um, I also added one for user right so and I put my initials in there so you can add as many as you want over here um, but I'll be alone again, focusing on day and then my initials. Okay. So once you do that, you know, make sure you save your preferences. Okay. Then you come over here to your file output, um, dialog. And what you'll see here is, so one thing that's great is that it can actually create directories based on these tokens, right? So I'm using the token, um, dollar sign day, and then name of my file and then user. Okay. Uh, this is you know the user token and then version four. Uh, another great feature about it is anytime you, you type in v01 or b02 or whatever it is, it'll add this little um, dialog right. So anytime you need to version up a render, you just hit that. So anywhere it finds v or whatever, it's going to switch that to something else, or it's going to switch to the, whatever this is right. So it'll actually do it in the compositing area too. So if you look at the preview, what you're getting here is a directory called, um, to, you know, today's date, token test, my initials, 05, blah, 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 right? Now, the key to getting it to work properly is to, um, uh, you have to use their render submitter. If you use this, it'll just skip it, right? But if you use Loom render image sequence, um, that's that's what sort of kicks it in, right? So um, I just switched my hotkey that I had for rendering sequences from here to, to Loom. Up up comes this, which you know allows you to type in basically whatever you'd like. By default, it's going to do whatever is in your uh, current uh, playback area. But you could type, you know, just give me frame one, frame two, frame five, whatever it might be, right? So another great feature, you know, sort of like what Max can do. So you could sort of just say, give me some weird sequence or whatever. You hit OK start rendering and what you'll see over here is it's created a directory with today's name or uh, sorry today's date in it token test my initials version 5 and then the frame number so really super handy so just you know kick those out so every single day as long as you use that you're versioning up without having to or at least putting th organizing things in, in proper directories uh, as you go without um you know, without having to do anything about it once it's set up, you know. So, you know, you could just version up. You could actually even skip your versioning because you're putting them in, in directories unless you're producing multiple versions a day or whatever. So, uh, like I said, Loom um, tokens here, render through Loom here, and you'll be good to go. Very cool.